What's going on guys, it is Europaz here, bringing you the 8th episode of You May Nikki. So, let's go to bed. And, um, do you remember earlier how I said that, um, I would dedicate an entire episode to the infamous Hell Maze? Well, guess what? This is that episode. That's right, I'm going to brave this incredibly annoying, ridiculous maze. And, um, this is actually going to be an episode that will go down in history. Because, for the first ever time, I am using... Pause for dramatic effect. Notes! That's right. Well, virtual notes at least, because the maze is so bloody hard to explore. So, um, I've got them here on my trusty iPod Touch. Say what you will, now that I've said that, this, the comments are going to turn into an iPod debate. But oh well, at least they're comments. I don't really care. So anyway... Oh yeah, there's something we want to get on the way here, when we find the uh, little, the little pyramid here, I think. We... I'm looping, I'm looping. Um... Hmm... Am I looping, or is this the right way? Okay. Maybe... Can you hear that? I think that's who we're meant to find. There is another effect called the midget effect. And hopefully I can find him up here. Before I enter hell. But, uh... I'm not too sure if I'm going to be entering hell yet, because I seem to have lost my way. That is a bed, now. Oh dear, not you. Wait, you're not the one of the evil ones, are you? No, you're just, you're pretty chill. Okay. Can I get in the bed? If I... Sorry, I'm getting really distracted here. Um... um what happens? Nothing! Just as expected. Okay. <sighs> okay, come on. I'm on a tight schedule here. I need to find this pyramid thing. Come on. It's gotta be somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure that... Hmm... This is incredibly odd. Uh, let's try just going up here. Oh, hello! I want you! Stop! Yes, this is where I want to go. Now wait. I have an idea. This is what I do. I pause. I go effect. I get... I get the stoplight. Where the hell is that thing? Seriously, there it is. I get the stoplight. Now I press 1. Yes! There we go. And this funny little guy here... What is that? Is that a lightsaber he's holding? Anyway, who really cares? The midget effect. Now, I'll let you go off on your merry way, skipping along, you thing. Ah. Uh, so few worries, unlike me, about to brave the depths of hell itself. Now, where is this lovely little... There we go. Surprise, surprise! It makes me become a midget. Now, what does one do? Oh my god. Holy crap. There's two. I'm multiplying. Meiosis, or mitotis. I can't remember which one. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'll just, uh... Sorry about that. How many... How many... Wow. How many... A okay, it goes up to one, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh my god, there's seven of us. A little sort of army type thing. This is terrifying. Okay. As cool as that is, I'm going to go back to the bicycle. So, and I'll probably never use that effect again. Oh god, not you. Okay, these ones with the eyes are the ones that try and kill us. So we want to avoid her as much as possible, otherwise she'll take us to an inescapable place of the dream world, which isn't as extreme as it used to be, because I now have the little hand thing which teleports me back to the Nexus, but it will still be quite annoying, so... What even is this place? And the music is incredibly annoying, but very catchy at the same time. Kind of like elevator music. Okay, uh, oh, this place is extremely annoying to navigate. Okay. Lampposts. Oh, this, I'm... You, you know, as I said in the past episode, I'm going to sort of kind of try to give up questioning things in this game and just, you know, just leave it. You know, I don't know why there's lampposts everywhere, but, you know, whatever. It's a dream, and things are very... Oh, God, this is very annoying. There we go! This is the portal to hell. Would you believe it? Okay. Here we go, and now it's time to bring the virtual notes out. Okay. Let's see. There may not be much commentary in this part, because I have to concentrate. Let's go. Let's go down and right. Go down and left. Down to bottom. What does that mean? Left at end. And up. There we go. Left to end. Down path. Okay, let's just keep going here. Come to rectangular shape. I assume this is the rectangular shape. So we go up here. Go here. I think from here it's pretty straightforward. I think from here we just go 
here, and then... Yeah, there we go, that wasn't too hard, was it? And now we're here. This looks quite similar to somewhere I've already been. It probably is, actually. I'm pretty sure I looked up here earlier and thought... Oh, it's very dark. Hmm, this is annoying. I mean, I can sort of see, but... I think it'd be easier with a lamp. I know it'll make me go slower, but, you know, being able to see is quite useful. Especially in a game like this. Okay, and these eyes actually follow me around. That is incredibly weird and creepy. Let's just keep going. I have a little stroll party on the way. Okay, that's letting my eyes already. I think I'm going the right way. I don't know if this is like a maze in itself or if it's just a direct path. I think it's pretty much straightforward path. Just past these trees here. Yeah, it's pretty much a pretty straightforward route to wherever I'm going to be going to get to the... Oh yeah, I, did I actually tell you what effects I'm getting? No. Well, I'll leave that for a surprise. Veterans of Yume Nikki have probably guessed already, so congrats. You've probably guessed right. I don't know if there's any other effects that you have to go down this route to get, but these eyes are really creeping me out, and that's all that really matters. Okay. Is there... Oh. Yeah, here we go. This is the race. The race? This is the place. I doubt this thing can even race, let alone move. Okay. Um... Uh, bicycle. There we go. It's really annoying how the effects change places. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. Hello, you creepy little man. Now, there's a guy at the back of my bus, but um, I know he's not as creepy as this guy. I'll kind of... Anyway, we've got to sit down next to you for approximately eight seconds. So count with me, guys. Come on. This is audience interaction here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Okay, I know that was more than eight seconds, but oh well, let's just go out. And now I believe we go this way. Ta da! And would you believe it, it's a new world. Sort of, actually. So, we'll just sail past these faceless girls here. Again, no questioning. Oh, what are you there? You actually have a face, you have a nose at least. Anyway, <clears throat> let's stop questioning these things and just. Oh, there we go. There's something in the water. This is weird. Okay, this is very strange. Let's just uh, go past these. Oh, that man's drowning. That's not very good, is it? Well, oh, he's coming towards me. That's uh, sorry, I can't really help you. You're freaking me out a bit. Okay, so keep going back here. And this little um thing. I can't remember what the trees are called from Lord of the Rings. The Ents. That's it. The Ents. Ah. Oh. That brings back memories, the end. Anyway, now we have the witch effect. Which makes me become a witch. And I have a broomstick. That's pretty cool. That'd be quite fun to get around on if it wasn't incredibly slow. So, uh, let's go back to the bicycle. Okay, now I'll probably go back to the Nexus in just a second. But, um, oh, he's back there, thank god. There's something I wanted to do. Apparently, um, there's something you can actually do with these girls over here. Or these women. Well, they might be men with very long hair, to be honest. I mean, they don't have any facial features, so... Who knows? Anyway, um, it involves the cat effect. The cat effect's kind of creepy in itself, but... Um, I don't know what it does to these women. So, let's get the cat effect out. I'm a bit scared. I don't know what it's going to do. Most of the time, it's very weird. Oh, God! What are we doing? Holy crap. They're all coming towards me. Their face is like open in little holes. Let's try it on this one. That's that's very strange. Well, let's um let's go back to the Nexus and unfortunately our voyage through hell is not over. There we go. Unfortunately we have to brave hell once again. But this time we're going to a different section of hell. And we've been to this section before. We go through it via the forest world. This world, I know I shouldn't say this in a let's play, because, you know, I want audiences to like my audience to like sort of like the game I'm playing and enjoy the game I'm playing, but you know, I'm only here for a second, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, oh yeah, I'm here already. I don't even need to say it. Anyway, this world is the most boring world in the whole game. There we go, I said it. Shoot me. Okay, so there we go. And oh no, not you! Oh god, that was so close. Okay. Uh there we go. Right. Time to get the notes out again. I believe this place, this way, is pretty more straightforward. Okay. Right. And down to the end of this path here. Then I assume we go... Hold on. Yeah, right. And up. 
up. All right, we come to this thing. What a strange, what a strange thing you are. I've written in my notes, make humorous comment about weird purple thing, but um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, so I'm sorry, past George, who wrote that, but I can't think of anything. And yeah, here we go. I've actually done this route before, so it was a bit easier. And we're here again now. Um, this is annoying because there's like a certain path you have to follow, and I'm not exactly sure. Oh wait, no, it's not that way. I know it's this way. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I think it's up here. If we come to... I think I've actually done this path before, but I didn't exactly go the correct way. We'll do it in the correct way. So, um, hopefully this time it will be... There we go. Yeah, this is the right place. Do -do -do. And we're back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Wow, I recorded it like a week ago. I can't believe I've like forgotten already. Okay, um... There we are. Back here. So we need to like... I don't know if you have to do this in a particular order, but um... Oh! Okay, I did that anyway. I thought there was meant to be three of them, but oh well. Well, there we go. And they don't do anything. So yeah, we're in this lovely little 8-bit place again, or 16-bit, depending. I'm not really sort of very knowledgeable on bits, but whatever. It's like a retro place is what I'm getting at, okay? So there we go. And the music is definitely the most awesome music in the game, hands down. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just like a straightforward path again. Oh, no! Is that the right way? Is that the right way? Is this the right way? Oh, yes, it is. These weird number people. Anyway, we have to go around here. Thinking outside the box, or sort of box-shaped thing. <sighs> Come on, move. Am I, I might have to stab a bitch. I think I'm going to have to stab a bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, ouch. That had a lovely sort of retro screen shake and sound effect as I did that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Okay. Right. So, where to now? We want to go here. Hello. Boyo Boyo! What a cool name. What does Boyo Boyo do? Boyo Boyo does... There we go. Oh, wow. That's just brilliant. Is she dancing or what? She's doing the boyo boyo dance. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's go back to the Nexus. If I can find the bloody effect. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. I have a bit of time left. Hmm, I don't know. Do I have time? Do I have time? Do I really have time to do the thing? Um... Hmm. I may... Hold on, I'm wasting time by thinking, aren't I? Um... Hold on. Hey guys, sorry about the cut there. Um, I thought I might have time to find another effect, but um, it does not look like that is the case, unfortunately. So we're going to have to leave that until next episode, but I'm really glad I got hell out of the way. I mean, I was really dreading that. I mean, who wouldn't dread going to hell, apart from... I don't know, Satanists or whatever. That's a conversation for another time. Uh, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. You're awesome for watching this far. Um, as always, the biggest compliment you could give me would be a like, a comment, and um, subscribing would be absolutely epic of you. So yeah, if you could do all three of those things, preferably, that'd be awesome. But you know, no pressure or anything. I'm just happy that you watched the video, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And um, if you could also like check out my Tumblr account, I made it a couple of weeks ago, posting stuff on there, posting news about my upcoming projects, and like ask me questions, any questions you want to hear, then just ask. Yeah, wow, I was saying that all in one breath. It's getting uh, very strenuous. So um, anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching this video. Next episode may be the last one. I'm not too sure. Or second last. There is an aeroplane going over in the background. I apologise for that. So, um, anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Adios.